Hey there, interwebs. As you hopefully already know, I run a regular series on this channel called How Fascinating, all about the weird and wonderful world around us. But today's video isn't part of it. The following is just a collection of stray factoids that don't fit anywhere else, which I call Original Facts. The diagonal line crossing a cluster of tally marks is called a pollux, from the Latin word for thumb. The small, broken pieces of spaghetti left at the bottom of the box are spaghettini. The English word homey has nothing to do with one's home. It's an anglicization of the French word homme, meaning man. The British slang word mahusive, meaning very large, does not stem from massive plus huge, but rather has its origins with the elephant riders known as mahouts encountered by the British Raj. The name Alexander comes from a lex andros, a mixture of Latin and Greek meaning no lawman, or in other words, outlaw. William Nilsson was an 1860s Minnesotan senator frequently accused by his political opponents of making rash, impulsive decisions. Thus, to do something willy-nilly came to mean doing it on a whim. One of Zeus's more esoteric epithets is the cucumiform. This is because he fathered the Antheads after seducing Anthea, goddess of gardening, in the form of a handsome cucumber and a bottle of olive oil. Wolf saliva contains the chemical ester of peanut butter. This is why wolves and dogs are always trying to lick the inside of each other's mouths. Mockbusters are not a new concept. In the early 1600s, Shakespeare had to contend with rival theater companies putting on productions with misleading titles like Titus Androgynous, The Temptress, and The Shaming of the True. The Anzac troops fighting at Gallipoli nicknamed Dysentery the Turkish or Turkey Squirts. Following the Great War, demand for firearms innovation waned, forcing designers to find more civilian applications for their patents. This produced such memorable creations as the toggle-locked garage door, the Vickers light automatic toothbrush, and the bolt-action avocado. The name of the dick-burrowing catfish, Candiru, comes from shortening Canis Dirus, the scientific name for the dire wolf. In addition to angels flipping off holy men and amusing genital injuries, Michelangelo also painted the word stolto on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel right above the Pope. It means fool or gullible. The name November comes from the Latin phrase no vium, meaning no road or no travel, because in the Mediterranean climate, Romans could comfortably travel as late in the year as October, but in November, roads began to become impassable and the weather too hostile for travel. During the first leap year, there were actually two February firsts. The days were numbered 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and so on. A group of phlebotomists is called a phlebotomy team. This can be shortened to phleme. Googly eyes were actually named after their inventor, 20th century Italian toy maker Guglielmo Iadanza. They used to use pregnant women to illuminate coal mines because their natural glow wouldn't ignite the fire damp. Charmander's full name is actually Charles Mandrake. In addition to chivalry in the French language, the game of conquerors was also introduced to England in the 11th century by William of Normandy. This is why he's also known as William the Conqueror. 007's name is actually Jame Bond, no S. The title James Bond is plural and refers to all agents of the name, similar to the term Attorneys General. A team of archaeologists and anthropologists now believe that the Jersey Devil is based on a New Jersey and cultural memory of Hadrosaurus Folkii. The Big Lebowski's title, when released in France, was Lebowski Grand. Sam Elliott's mustache has its own SAG card. A female wombat is called a wombatina. A male piñata is called a piñato. The Trojan Pinato was the disastrous first attempt before trying a horse, wherein two dozen Achaeans were accidentally beaten to death. The word decapitate comes from the Latin term decapitatus, originally from the ancient Greek decapotatos, meaning ten potatoes. Dracula is a plural word. The title of the novel actually refers to the count and his brides. A single vampiric noble is called a draculum. The plural of sodium, meanwhile, is sodia. Speaking of unusual plurals in non-English words, the American marsupial is called a possum. The prefix o makes it the plural form opossum. And speaking of playing dead, Scandinavian men will feign death after mating to avoid being eaten by their wives. In a bold new strategy to discourage diving, FIFA will henceforth treat injured players as if they were racehorses. The Heimlich Maneuver was named after its inventor, Dr. Heinrich Maneuver. The two L's in L.L. Bean stand for llama. The full name is Lama Lama Bean. In case it wasn't already obvious, these so-called original facts are in fact fiction. They're original in the same way as an original story. You've never heard them before now because I just made them up. That's why I called them factoids at the start. That word initially referred to something which seems true, but isn't. Just as a spheroid object is shaped like a sphere, a factoid is only shaped like a fact. Hopefully you find that knowledge both fascinating and factual, and let's have a bit more truth in this video, shall we? 
The base 5 counting system, also known as quinary or pentel, sees little use in the modern world, but it, along with binary, is a sub-base of the decimal system known as biquinary, perhaps best known via tally mark sets and the abacus. A single piece of spaghetti is called a spaghetto. The word female is not derived from the word male. It comes from the old French word femelle, which itself comes from the medieval Latin word femella, the diminutive form of femina. The English word female was only later remodeled to be more similar to the word male, which comes from the old French word mazu, from the Latin masculus, and is otherwise not etymologically related. Many words which are now standard in the English language have direct Hindi or Urdu origins, such as dinghy, bungalow, shampoo, lute, juggernaut, calico, pajamas, and tickety-boo. In medieval England, another term for an outlaw was caput lupinum, literally wolf's head in Latin, referring to the standing bounty on all wolves, which were seen as a mortal threat to both people and livestock. Nineteenth century names were wild. There was Senator Algernon Paddock, Mayor Valentine McGillicuddy, Professor Edwin Theodore Dumble, and Dr. Dr. Willard Bliss. Yes, the guy's first name was actually Doctor. One of Zeus's many epithets was Mia Chorus, meaning he who shoes away flies, or, more broadly, the Lord of the Flies, a title which many of you no doubt realize is shared by Beelzebub, a Philistine god and major demon in Abrahamic mythology. Wolves actually lick the insides of each other's mouths as a show of submission and respect and to strengthen social bonds. That being said, the urine of the maned wolf, which despite its name is not closely related to wolves, does contain a chemical cocktail which smells so strongly of skunky marijuana that it once got the cops called on the Rotterdam Zoo to investigate reports of the suspicious odor. The urine of the binturong, or bear cat, meanwhile, contains 2-acetyl-1-pyrroline, a chemical enzyme that smells uncannily like hot buttered popcorn, and the beaver's anal glands produce a substance known as castorium, which contains the same chemical esters as raspberry flavoring. Even Shakespeare wasn't above hacking out the odd cash-grab sequel. Falstaff, from the Henriad, was such a beloved character of Queen Lizzie that she requested Shakespeare write a rom-com with Falstaff as the main character. As a result, he created The Merry Wives of Windsor, which is widely regarded as one of his worst plays. Let that be a lesson to you all. If you like what an artist does, let them do their thing and stop kibitzing. When syphilis was brought from the Americas to the Old World, the French called it the Italian disease, the Italians called it the French disease, the Dutch called it the Spanish disease, the Russians called it the Polish disease, and the Poles called it the German disease. Avocados weren't invented by humans, but they likely wouldn't exist without human intervention. As mentioned before on this channel, avocados should have gone extinct at the end of the Pleistocene epoch, along with the South American megafauna upon which the trees were dependent to spread their seeds, which were too large to be swallowed by the surviving smaller animal species. The continued existence of avocados with their fatty pulp, despite the absence of megafauna, is now considered to be evolutionary anachronism. The Kandiru fish probably doesn't burrow in its victim's urethra. The sole reported case of this occurring in modern times is sketchy at best. Additionally, the direwolf's binomial designation is no longer Canis dirus. Recent research led to the 2021 decision to move the direwolf to its own genus, Anosion, meaning terrible dog, due to its DNA being highly divergent from the extant wolf-like canine species. In Michelangelo's The Last Judgment, the figure of Minos is being bit on the groin by a snake, and his likeness was taken from Biagio de Cesena, a contemporary cardinal who criticized the work for featuring exposed genitals. November's name means the ninth month, despite being the eleventh month of the year, because January and February were only added later. January's name comes from the literally two-faced god Janus, god of doorways and transitions. Leap days are technically known as intercalary days, and the intercalary day of the Julian calendar was not February 29th, as would be logical, but rather a second February 24th. The name of the bloodletting tool, called a phleem, comes from shortening phlebotome, meaning vein cutter, from whence we get the word phlebotomy. Stylized phlemes appear in gold on the coat of arms of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland. Googly eye based vandalism, also known as eye bombing, is considered by some, myself included, to be a form of guerrilla art akin to yarn bombing and moss graffiti. Although pregnant women were never used to illuminate coal mines with their natural glow, dead fish were. When rotting fish are undergoing decomposition, they're actually being eaten by bacteria, some species of which are bioluminescent, meaning they give off a natural glow. Since this was a source of light without combustion, it was used as an ad hoc lantern in coal mines before Humphrey Davies' invention of the safety lamp. Charmander's name is a portmanteau of char, as in charcoal, and salamander, not the charming amphibian, but the legendary creature thought to be an embodiment of elemental fire. You can expect more on that subject, however, in a future episode of Russell's Guide to Monsters. 
If you've ever wondered why the English words for meats such as pork, beef, and mutton sound nothing like the animals they come from, that's because following the Norman conquest of England, the people who raised the animals were the working-class Anglo-Saxons who spoke Old English, while the people who ate them were nobles who spoke a precursor of French, where the animals are called pork, beef, and mouton. The original James Bond was not a British secret agent, but an ornithologist from my hometown of Philadelphia. As a keen bird watcher himself, Ian Fleming was familiar with Bond's book, Birds of the West Indies, and thought that the author's name was the sort of perfectly banal and unassuming name that would be perfect for an undercover operative. In his own words, it struck me that this brief, unromantic Anglo-Saxon and yet very masculine name was just what I needed. Hadrosaurus fulkii is New Jersey's official state dinosaur. Stegosaurus and Triceratops are the official dinosaurs of Colorado and Wyoming. Film titles are frequently changed when released in other languages. The French titles of Jaws, The Hangover, and The French Connection were The Teeth from the Sea, The Very Bad Trip, and The French Connection. A clean-shaven Sam Elliott stars in the 1972 horror film Frogs, which everyone should see if only once, and definitely with friends and a bottle of something. Just like their marsupial cousins, kangaroos, baby wombats are called joeys. Male and female wombats are called jacks and jills, respectively, and the collective noun for them is a wisdom of wombats. I'm just glad that title didn't get handed to their smooth-brained cousins, the koalas. The earliest objects, which we might refer to as piñatas, originated in China, where they have been used since at least the 13th century. These objects were shaped like cows or oxen and filled with seeds, and broken open with colored sticks as part of a ritual to produce a favorable growing season. The abduction of Helen to Troy was allegedly the inciting incident, or casus belli, for the Trojan War, and thus she earned the epithet of the face that launched a thousand ships. People who like to measure things and are familiar with their metric prefixes have since invented the term millihelen, defined as the unit of beauty required to launch one ship. There was a prize-winning 18th century British thoroughbred which defeated some of the greatest racehorses of the time, and he was named Potatoes, or more accurately, Pot 8 O's, spelled Patoo. Despite being commonly called the Brides of Dracula in popular culture, nowhere in the novel are they referred to as such. Additionally, it's not uncommon to see them depicted as a blonde, a brunette, and a redhead, but in the novel there are a blonde and two brunettes, and the scanty descriptions we have of them seem to imply that only the blonde is the Count's wife or lover, and the other two are their daughters, given the resemblance they bear to him. This is highly speculative, though. Sodium is one of only nine elements whose chemical symbol shares no letters with its English name. The others, in ascending order by atomic number, are potassium, iron, silver, antimony, tungsten, gold, mercury, and lead. The use, addition, or modification of a prefix, rather than a suffix such as s, to pluralize a word is a common feature of the Bantu languages of Central and Southern Africa, such as Swahili and Tlusa. It is not, however, a feature of Powhatan, where the word opossum comes from. Sexual cannibalism is a thing, but it's probably less widespread than you think. The animals which are perhaps most famous for this practice are the mantids, but female Chinese mantises will only eat their mates if food is otherwise scarce. While the Ballon d'Or is awarded to the male player deemed to have the best performance of the year, in 2014, Adrian Tavares was awarded the first ever fall on de floor to publicly shame him for his hammy diving. Dr. Henry Heimlich is certainly not a man without controversy, but he did also invent the flutter valve, a device which is credited with saving hundreds of lives in the Vietnam War. L.L. Bean is named after its founder, and the two L's in the name actually stand for Leon Leonwood, which is somehow even dumber than Lama Lama Bean. If you found any of these original facts to be believable, good. I'll remind you that I am a semi-pro fiction author as a side hustle, and the fundamental core of fiction is getting people emotionally invested in a story which they already know is made up. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little factual diversion, because all that remains is for me to say thanks for watching, and have a nice April Fool's Day.